my name is Morello Kane. It's Morell All Things Hair Doc Media. It's the hair debate, and our topic for the month is hair. It is debunk. Yes, hair. It is debunk, and we are debunking your perception on what products should I use? Okay, because as clients, how many of you have said no one knows my hair better better than I do? Okay, so when it comes to products. You want to second guess what the client, what the stylist advise you to use. All right, you want to second guess that. Okay, so now they advise you to use this product, that product. What do you do? You want to run to the store and get the closest thing to it. Does that work? Okay, how are the results? Well, now let's hear it from one we have interviewed, Dr. Nikki Hill, Soka Center. Okay, but then also too, we're talking to the um, distributor of Derek Shaw of Influence Hair Care System. Okay, a professional hair care line, and he's going to talk about the difference on using professional products versus the ones that you buy over the counter. Um, a couple of other questions that I talked to him pertaining to that, pertaining to you know how the difference of in of using a professional product line versus one over the counter. All right, but then also too, Dr. Nikki is gonna give you her intake. And when it comes to, um, from a prescription standpoint, the products that you should be using on your hair. So stay tuned. Again, Dr. Nikki Hill of Soka Centers and Derek Shaw of Influence Hair Care System. Morello King, where we debate, debunk, and discover all things hair. You're watching Influence Me Wednesday with Morale. All things hair. Hello, my name is Morello Kane, and it's Morell All Things Hair Media. We are right here in the at the home of Dr. Nikki Hill, Soka Centers, and Dr. Hill. How are you today? I'm lovely. How you doing? I am doing great. Super excited about this topic. Okay, September's topic. Here it is. Okay, debunk that is. Yes, we are going to discuss the importance of products. You know, some people, you know, may not tend to understand the importance of products, but we're going to discuss that today. And, you know, as consumers, we tend to think, you know, I can use product A with product B. And, you know, when I am advised to use a product from a dermatologist, one that is prescribed to me, then, okay, can I go and get something, you know, similar to it? So we're going to discuss all of that with Dr. Hill today. So Dr. Hill... Um, when it comes to products, what is the importance of professional products versus ones that you can purchase over the counter? Absolutely. So professional products may have been created a little bit differently. Some are a little bit more regimented um, tests and just kind of a little bit of research in regards to making sure they're correctly, um, they're adequate pH, um, there's a consistency that's going to be maintained. So you really want to make sure you're, you're developing and actually um, implying that you're purchasing those professional products from professional distributor. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of stores that open out of beauty supplies and yes. sometimes it's questionable whether or not those are actually the true products that were created by the manufacturer. Um, and even on a lot of products they will say only professional if you know purchased from a supplier. Right. Um, so you really want to be mindful of that because you know, just like they have the, the fun, fantastic, gorgeous knockoffs of bags and things like That's that. Right. That same thing can actually happen with their products. So wow. To make sure that it's, it's the appropriate product that's in the bottle, you do want to make sure you're your person with a licensed professional. You know what, Dr. Hill, you know, <clears throat> I've, you know, spoken to consumers and they would say, well, you know, is, is you know, when I'm referred to a dermatologist, using their particular brand, their product that they refer to us or prescribe to us, can be a little pricey, you know, so, you know, it's just like, okay, when it pertains to vitamins or oral supplements, okay, now, what's the difference, you know, vitamins that you guys prescribe, you know, the importance of, you know, taking that prescription, using a prescription that you guys advise us to use versus the ones that they can just go and buy vitamins at the store. Absolutely. So once something's been a prescription grade, it's gone through particular regimens with the FDA wow. and with the research and development to really make sure one that the milligrams of each ingredient is truly in the amount that's correctly placed inside that vitamin. And it's also made sure there's not a lot of trace minerals or other things that are not necessary wow. um, within that, that vitamin or supplementation. 
And so sometimes your prescriptions can cover it, some, or your or your prescriptions and your insurance may cover those prescribed um, vitamins. Sometimes they may not. Um, but you do, if you do have a prescribed routine from your dermatologist, um, you know, question them, ask them questions. So you really understand why it's being prescribed to you, and if it's the best option for you. However, you know, you do want to make sure and take into consideration that sometimes for better quality, you may have a high price point. Oh, that is very profound in what you're stating. Because again, you know, you may go and you could get boxing, but not truly understanding what all is mixed in that. And again, if you have the right milligram. So truly, truly, truly important. Um, so now I have something to share here. Um, the importance of having a healthy hair team. And so Dr. Nikki, you know, you have here um, a healthy scalp exam. And so, you know, can you talk about that team and the importance of have that team to evaluate the scalp. Absolutely. So I would say it's a comprehensive approach when you want to have healthy hair and healthy skin. And when it comes to specifically healthy hair, it begins with healthy scalp and healthy youth. So you want to have your dermatologist, you want to have your care doctor on board to make sure, one, that your whole body health is where it needs to be. And then a dermatologist really make sure your scalp health is where it needs to be. So we kind of go through nutrition, stressors, you know, dietary changes, things like that to really make sure that you are adequately feeding the scalp and the body so that way hair but you also want to make sure you have a team of your stylists, your barbers, your trichologists, your dermatologists. Um, you want to make sure you have nutritionists on board. You really have this full healthy scalp kit. And with the um, healthy scalp checks, this is something that I've implemented and just kind of wanted to have barbers, stylists, and trichologists kind of incorporate into their everyday routine. Just like we have a lot of people go and they have their one once a year annual checkup. Um, That's right. You know, have your once a year annual healthy scalp exam. Have your barber, your stylist, your trichologist to be able to do that for you. Like make sure there's no areas of thinning, make sure there's no areas of bumps in the scalp, make sure there's no areas of patches of hair loss that you may not be able to see because it's in the crown or the back of the scalp. But just making sure there's a lot of things that you may not be appreciative of or be able to notice or see on your own. But having that extra set of hands, someone who knows your scalp, sees your scalp as truly, is very vital and they can really help kind of curb and prevent anything from being a long-term permanent damage to the scalp and hair. I'm excellent, Dr. Hill. And so now, and one of the things that I would like to um, also say too, and with that team, you know, when you're using, you know, different products, say consumers to, to clients and whatnot, using different products, part of A, B, C, and D, you know, what is the importance of using the entire line of a product? Yeah, so we're all graduates of the University and most likely have a closet full of like 50 plus things, you know, that use your shampoo because she saw this video, you use your conditioner because you like the way it looks, you use this leave-in because you like the way it smells, but in reality, kind of what, going back to that research and development we talked about, your products actually are in a particular pH zone, so, so you yes. want to make sure you're using that whole system, that way you're able to optimize the outcome of the hair, texture, uh, porosity, mm -hmm. moisture content. Uh, when you use different products, you're shifting and changing that pH balance, which can have yes. natural effects on the hair. I'm excellent, Dr. Hill. And so now, having this healthy hair team, okay, in, in benefits of using the complete line, you know, when you have an issue with your scalp, you can contact your dermatologist, email them, and say, okay, this is the product line I've been using. Because you're educated on that product line, you, along with the team, can then come up with a concise description of, okay, this is what we think it is. And again, you have that dermatologist that is working with you, okay? And along with that, that prescription that they're giving to the consumer, for them to receive optimum care, you know, and the results they're looking for, then again, the dermatologist can then relay that information to the hair care provider. And then, again, um, along with the regimen that you use it at home, the results would be very positive. And so, I tell you, thank you so much, Dr. Hill, for advising our consumers. And, and again, just being a part of explaining, again, what the healthy hair team consists of. And Dr. Hill, what can they look at you at? Absolutely. So if you are having or suffering from hair loss changes, itchy, dry scalp, which we have a hair, a soap and hair formula for, actually yes. piggybacking off of um, how important it is to communicate with your stylist and your dermatologist certain products you're using, we 
we have a Soka hair form known as Forward Drawing, which is a place to scalp, but it's primarily um, created for the individual who does not want um, a lot of drying or stripping of their hair, yes. which a lot of the over-the-counter anti-dandruff shampoos can do. Um, so it's in a hypoallergen base, it's safe to use on children and women, and men, uh, children and adults. And then it also has um, a component that really helps combat what individuals may start when they kind of have improvement with their regular anti-dandruff shampoo treatment, but then it stops working. So we have it kind of built into a system where it can continuously work without very little side effects of dry hair or breakage. But it's also important to let your stylist and your barber know that you're using these products, any products you're using from a dermatologist for scalp conditions yes. or hair conditions, or even by mouth treatments, because sometimes that can have effects on the hair. Yes. And so your stylist wants to be able to combat that. I always send my patients out with a hair care handout if they have Absolutely. a stylist they work with um, or a soca stylist that they're working with to so make sure that they really understand what may be happening to the hair in the near future so they can come back that so that way they don't have any issues that they're having to, to kind of rectify um, while they're in the, the issue. Yes. And so if you are suffering from that or if you have a stylist that's interested in learning about how to offer the soca formula or even the healthy scalp exam. Yes in their office and salon. Um, you can find us on um, Instagram at Dr. Nikki Hill or you can call our office at 404-474-2301 or you can go to our website at sofacenter.com. Thank you so much, Dr. Hill. And again, this is our segment, okay, the hair debate. Well, we come to debate, debunk, and discover all things hair. Hello, this is Morello Kane with Morell All Things Hair Media, and I am here with Derek Shaw of Influence. I'm here to tell you, this is the man right here, Derek Shaw. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mo, for having me. <laughs> when I tell you, next to God and the men in my family, this one right here. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, he keep me covered. Yes, they keep those clients coming. But this is my distributor from my product line, Influence. And I am truly honored to have him here in the studio today. And boy, I'm telling you, we're bringing some facts to you guys. Because um, it is our segment at the Herod debate, okay? Here it is, debunk. We are debunking some things that you guys may feel like you know. But I'm here to tell you, I have the, the distributor here. Okay, this is the man that's going to answer everything that you think that you may have in your plan. So we're going to talk about products today. And so, okay, so there. Okay, so now we, we taught this. Okay, we, we taught this. And so now, when it comes to products, you know, I have clients that talk about products, you know, and they have their, you know, conception of what they think is a professional line and whatnot. But you know, I mean, you actually work for a company that distributes products to only professionals. Correct. Okay, and so now when it comes to the way chemists formulate products, okay, how do they formulate those products? When they formulate them, you know, do they are they formulated to where the ingredients in the products are layered, you know, to, for the client to receive, you know, the optimal results for their product? Uh, absolutely, they do. Um, when you're dealing with product line, the, the ultimate goal is to get the best result for your clients. So, um, when the chemist is formulating products, mm -hmm. what they have in mind is how does product A work with B? So, how does the shampoo complement, you know, the conditioner? Yes. How the shampoos and conditioners are going to complement the other uh, styling and finishing products? You better say that. So, um, if you know, as you know, we do a lot of education. And education is pretty much, um, as you mentioned, professional products uh, are what we represent. So education is just to uh, inform our clients on how these products work together uh, to get the optimal result at the end of that service, uh, which also is beneficial for them as far as, as when it comes to retailing to, um, to their clients. Yes. Um, just everything is consistent. Uh, you don't have mixing and matching, so it just elim eliminates, you know, just confusion uh, when it comes down to um, just um, dealing with certain hair issues. Okay, so, and let me just say, you know, there are not individuals that are not professionals just in, you know, a lab, just throwing some ingredients together and saying, okay, we hope that it works. 
you know, no, they carefully, strategically create these products. The ingredients that are used in these products are the best ingredients. That's what make them professional products, right? Right, right. Uh, what you get when you're dealing with mixing and matching, say a client has an issue from uh, a service that they receive. Yes. When you have uh, several different product lines, you know, your, your, your back bar looks confused or your yes. station looks confused. When a client comes back, you can't pinpoint where the issue took place. Oh, hey, hey, now, say that one more time, D. When the client, <laughs> when the client has an issue and you have several different product lines and you're not consistent in what you're using, you can't pinpoint where the issue took place mm. because you have so many different brands that you're putting together. Uh, but, you know, when you, and I can recall a time where you, you know, you were misusing a product. Go, tell the truth. And, Throw me on out there. Uh, go, go ahead. Because that's the truth. Yeah, yes. This, this was our protein treatment. Yes. Is, you know, one of our top sellers. But you came to me and you, uh, you expressed that uh, it's not feeling the way I wanted to feel. Yes. And I told you to walk me through the steps Absolutely. of what you were doing. Yes. And I saw where you were getting a step, a step wrong. Yes. But had that been a situation where you were using uh, brand A's shampoos, yes. brand B's conditioner, brand C's uh, styling products, you wouldn't have known where to start. But Absolutely. Being that you were consistent in the brand that you were using, it was simple for me to just tell you what was wrong. And you immediately corrected it, and then you know ever since then everything has been fine with it. Absolutely. Uh, with the product. And you know, and see, you said you stated something there. You know, when you start mixing products now, you know these segments are for the consumers or for the clients. But I tell you, stylists can benefit from hearing this as well because how many of you would use a relaxer, will run down to the beauty, local beauty supply store and buy that neutralizer? Again, <laughs> and so you may be using a, how, how do you know how that neutralizer is formulated? The strength of it to bring down the pH level on that hair. And so again, it is knowing the touch, is knowing the feel. You can feel when something is not right. And so you're absolutely right. So now let me tell you, now when you were when you're talking about retail. You know, um, it's so important, Be, you know, and a lot of times, you know, I've had a client not to come back to me because I could not tell her the best product to use at Walmart. Now, I have not gone to the Walmart classes, you know, for any hair products, for me to be able to advise her, you know, but she felt that because I was professional, I should, have, I should know about every product that is placed on um, that that's placed out there for purchase and you have to understand that people I mean when it comes to there are different companies that just formulate products and you can just throw a label on your name on it. Oh true true <laughs> I mean um, when you talk about Walmart you're talking about over-the-counter yes. uh, products that are sold to the public you know they're not just exclusive to uh, professionals so it's a, it's a couple of issues that you can run into uh, when you're just buying products from uh, beauty supply store and one is uh, diversion which is is no telling what might have been done to that product in order for it to meet a certain price point on those shelves wow so um they can have the name on there you know yes. saying that it's it's this product mm -hmm. but uh in order to sell it and to make a profit they could have you know diluted that product with you know um lower quality ingredients absolutely or whatever the case might be and so, whereas you think, it, and again, you're not purchasing a professional product. You know, that's the difference between the professional brand versus over-the-counter brand. You know, um, those, so now, when it comes to a stylist referring a product, you know, again, as Dara just stated, you know, it's very beneficial when you use the complete mind. And so, you know, as that stylist, use a product you know that line on your hair and say okay this is what would be great you know to continue to put the moisture on your hair you know and, and whatnot to feed that hair um to create balance in that hair and so now you know but now you would have those clients that would say well you know what no that's a little bit you know i don't want to pay that I, because i could go ahead and buy a moisture product over here for half the price right, right. 
Well, I mean, one thing we all know is you get what you pay for. You better say that again. <laughs> for, for one. And uh, also, um, clients, I would advise, you know, any client to listen to your professional cosmetologist. Absolutely. You know, anything they recommend as far as services when they sit down in your chair, as well as uh, when it comes to retail. Because the bottom line is you all went to school, you know, you put in the work, Absolutely. you put in the time to get your license. Yes. Um, you put in even continual education time Absolutely. with the uh, professional products that you're using once you get out of school. So no amount of YouTube video viewing can substitute, you know, your professional license that you went you took the theory, took the practical class for, mm -hmm. uh, and that you gained all those credit hours for. No amount of that uh, can be substituted by any YouTube videos. You can't teach theory. You can't you teach practical. Say on that. YouTube. So, uh, at the end of the day, the professional stylist yes. is the uh, the person to listen to for you know all your hair care needs inside and outside of the salon. Uh, but you know, as you were saying something and, and talking about the product and whatnot, this is what came to me. You know, because, you know, what I sent, you know, from clients is that, you know, well, you know, you, you're just trying to sell me something, you know. But understand this, when your hair is messed up, I'm, I'm, no, 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 I'm just going to keep it real. I'm actually spending more you know, on on the back bar end of it, and and putting more into your hair, trying to create it for it to be balanced, trying to get it right, versus you purchasing a product and sustaining that, and, and keep my cost down, because I'm not having to put in you know much more product and trying to help save that. Because again, you know, you're trying to make it you know uh, both affordable for the consumer as well as as the stylist. You know, and so, you know, the professional products are, I mean, they're, it's a professional brand and you have to pay for that. Because, I mean, what happens, you're, um, you're using these products in the salon mm -hmm. and you want, the client has to come back, you know, you um, got every week, you have that weekly client, the client has to come back. So you want them to be on a consistent regimen that's uniform with what you're doing and you. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Which is why it's important for professional stylists, one, to um, educate themselves on just professional products, the products that they're using, so they can in turn educate their clients on how they can best uh, achieve their maintenance needs at home outside of the salon as well. Absolutely, because again, when, and, and I'm just gonna sum all of this up by stating that, you know, when you walk out, look good, and you maintain that hair, and, look, and it looks good and great, you know, it makes more so of that stylist, you know, look great. You know, that because that's who you're representing. And so I thank you for your time today because are you busy, you know, out here, you know, making it happen for yeah, all these stuff. Busy, busy. <laughs> but I tell you, it's, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for influence, for creating such an, an amazing product and whatnot. And, um, and again, my name is Morello Kane, okay, right here with Derek Shaw of Influence. It's been my pleasure, Morello. All things hair.media. It's the hair debate where you come to debate, debunk, and discover all things hair.